Manufacturing is really a big part of the state's economy. It's particularly strong here in the Northeast. We were talking before about um, kind of the, the cluster of having a supply chain of uh, different components in manufacturing really concentrated here in northeastern Wisconsin. We want to continue to make it easier to do that. We put in place a pr what's called the production tax credit for manufacturing that over the next couple of years will wipe out almost all the taxable liability on manufacturing companies like Metal Storm. Well, that's important because that money can then go into new equipment, new innovations, which means either you're hiring more people to run that equipment or you're using that money to train people to be even more efficient, like we were talking about. So we put $100 million in the worker training. Uh, that's a lot of money. I'm not a big spender, but for me, helping people get trained and helping them get prepared for careers in manufacturing in particular is so important. Year to year, from December 2012 to December 2013, actually had the second highest number of new manufacturing jobs in the country, second only to the state of Michigan. Uh, that's part of our, our growth overall in the state's economy. We want to continue that. So we're going to come by today here and thank them for their growth here at Metal Storm and De Pere but also to highlight the strength of manufacturing in the state. But we're also looking at uh, other emerging markets. We have tremendous opportunities to fill positions in information technology and computer science. Um, we see it in clean water technology. Uh, we see it in the biosciences, particularly as it relates to veterinary sciences and, and uh, agriculture-related uh, uh, biotechnology. Um, so it's in no one clear area, uh, but it's a variety out there. But again, manufacturing agriculture is still the tops of the tops when it comes to our economy, and thankfully those are areas that are growing.